Darrell jo Jazz Johnson here, MSG Varsity Fathers and Sons Razz and Jazz Sports, here with uh, Greg Anthony, former New York Knick, current Brooklyn Nets uh, analyst, uh, also CBS uh, College Sports Analyst as well. How are you doing, Greg? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Thank you. What's the significance of a game like this on a historic day like today? Well, you know, the, the league has historically played, had marquee games on MLK Junior Day. Uh, and, and listen, let's be very candid. Our, our league has always been predominantly black in terms of the players itself. And so from a cultural standpoint, this day has a lot of meaning for so many people, in particular for a lot of the, the professional athletes who play the game of basketball. So it's an honor and a privilege. I remember many opportunities I had to play on, on this day and, and what it represented and what it meant in terms of our people, and the, the struggles we've had. and you know, and the highs we've been able to accomplish. You know, it also ties in with the fact that this is uh, the inauguration day for President Obama. So uh, a lot of wonderful memories come about from this day. Uh, but still, there's a long way to go in terms of fulfilling the dreams that Dr. Martin Luther King had. Absolutely. What are some personal memories that come to mind when you come into the world's most famous arena? Well, having had the opportunity to play for a guy like Pat Riley and with guys like Patrick Ewing and John Starks and Herb Williams and, you know, also to be a part of an era where we were really good, you know, and had some tremendous teams, got to, you know, play in the seventh game of the NBA Finals and uh, a lot of historic battles with the Chicago Bulls. Uh, so to have a, to play a part in something as significant as the Mecca of basketball at Madison Square Garden, and not just basketball, as you well know, I mean, there have been so many monumental events that have been held in this arena uh you know it's history in the making every night you step on the floor here at the guard and so it, it is an honor and a privilege what are your thoughts on the matchup and the teams in general the brooklyn nets and the new york Knicks? well listen two of the better teams in the eastern conference without question uh you know both have had some ups and downs this this season because of injury and whatnot obviously the nets having let one coach go now pj carlissimo at the helm and has really seemed to right at their ship, if you will. Uh, but this is a big battle. Uh, it's not just about the battle of the borough, really, because these are two teams that I think have sights on trying to not just have an impact on the conference, but win the Eastern Conference come postseason time. And uh, I I'm excited. I know it's going to be intense. Uh, it, the fact that the Nets were able to kind of revamp and become a quality team, in essence, overnight uh, adds to it. And then you're seeing a Knicks team right now that I think has exceeded a lot of people outside of the game's expectations with how well they played. I thought they would be a really good team. They've got championship pedigree now. You think of the likes of Jason Kidd and Rasheed Wallace and Tyson Chandler, and they have a franchise-caliber player in Carmelo Anthony. So sky's the limit. Thanks a lot, Greg.